Foundation, Green Roots, uh, all of my colleagues in government at the city and state level. Again, thank you all for joining us here today. Uh, thank you to the cities of Chelsea and Everett for their support. All right, well, uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you again for being here in celebration of the FY22 $750,000 federal investment to advance a regional flood resilience plan to protect the cities of Chelsea and Everett. Yes, you heard that cor correctly, FY22. Um, we came together uh, at the start of our efforts to secure federal funding for this visionary project. Um, and now we get to actually celebrate uh, that investment. And um, it truly is a good day. I want to thank Chelsea City Manager Fidel Maltez, um, Mystic River Watershed Association, Green Roots, uh, all of my colleagues in government at the city and state level, and former uh, Chelsea City Manager Tom Ambrosino uh, worked very hard on this and uh, was our, our partner in putting um, this uh, application together uh, alongside Mayor De Maria. So I do want to name him as well. Um, again, thank you all for joining us here today. Uh, thank you to the cities of Chelsea and Everett for their support during the entirety of this project. Uh, I know this has been a long haul. Some people have said they've been a part of this for three years, five years. Anyone any longer than that? How long? Uh, 2002. Just listening to Nancy. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so, it's, it's, so we thank you, you know, for um, your steadfast advocacy, advocacy over these many years. This project will help address the growing flood risk for frontline communities like Chelsea and Everett, which are home to diverse and thriving multicultural communities and critical food distribution and energy infrastructure. Policy is my love language. And as policymakers advance the investments necessary to make our communities more climate resilient, environmental justice must be front and center. Uh, it is policy in these budgetary investments that will make the difference in closing so many of the, um, the inequity gaps that we see persistent throughout this uh, congressional district, but in particular in Chelsea and Everett. The consequences of climate change are intersectional. They have impacts on our public health, on our economy, and on our national security. That's why I was so proud to work closely with city officials and climate justice advocates in Chelsea and Everett to advance this necessary intersectional investment. These resources are a direct investment in our young people, our families, our communities, and our future. From Roxbury to Chinatown to Everett, to right here in Chelsea, our communities, especially those that are home to low-income people and communities of color, are the front-line communities, bearing the disproportionate brunt of the longer and more intense heat waves and threats of flooding. The Massachusetts 7th and the country simply cannot afford to wait any longer for the investments and the protections that they deserve. Now is the time to advance unprecedented bold, transformational policies and budgets that match that to invest in our communities to undo decades of environmental injustice and to affirm our fundamental right to drink clean water, to breathe clean air, to live in and enjoy clean and safe communities. And as we fight for these robust, long overdue investments at the federal level, Projects like these will help us save lives in the short term and help us address the impact of climate change now. So thank you to everyone here for contributing to today's success. Thank you for your expertise, your counsel, your partnership, your patience. And I eagerly anticipate our ongoing collaboration as we strive to address environmental injustice and the impact of climate change on our shared constituents in Chelsea and Everett. And now I'll hear from... Uh, our leader, uh, Chelsea City Manager Fidel Melton. And anyone else who would like, like to speak? Thank you. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. We are gathered here to discuss a bold project. The Island and River flood barrier is not just about infrastructure. It is about safeguarding our future, protecting our, our livelihoods, and ensuring the well-being of our residents. 
Today, I want to share the benefits, the timeline, the finances, and the advocacy opportunities surrounding this transformative project. First and foremost, this project protects over 500 acres of vital land, currently susceptible to catastrophic coastal floods from rising sea levels and future storms. This protection encompasses not just land, but critical infrastructure supporting over 11,000 jobs and generating $7 billion in annual economic activity. This area houses the New England Produce Center, which is a lifeline for fresh uh, produce distribution from here to southern, to, to southern Canada. This also pro uh, protects our energy infrastructure, our educational institutions like Chelsea High School, essential services like grocery stores and hospitals, and transportation hubs such as the MBTAs, Newberry to Rockport Line, and the Chelsea Commuter Rail Station. This project is not about erecting walls. This is about restoration and revitalization. Over 20,000 square feet of wetland areas will be improved, and Island and River Park will be revitalized, fostering community engagement and stewardship of our riverfronts. Today, we are working to reach a 75% design by, by June of this year, with a target to be fully complete with our design by next spring. In the future, we aim to, to finalize our permits and secure funding, particularly by continuing to work with FEMA to secure our $50 million BRIC grant. Construction, which if we obtain this grant, would begin in September of 2025 and would finish by September of 2028. This will mark the culmination of years of planning and execution. Speaking of finances, the project entails an estimated cost of $66.7 million, with funding being, being secured from various sources. While we plan to secure our, our $50 million uh, FEMA grant, we are actively pursuing a state bond earmark, which is worth $8 million, along with continuing our conversations on how do we uh, figure out our, our required $9 million local match. Additionally, we are applying for a $5 million MVP grant from the state, which if, if successful, would significantly alleviate the burden on, on our shared cities. This project is part of a larger network of regional flood resiliency initiatives along the Mystic River. And it is being facilitated by our resilient Mystic Collaborative. Partnerships with organizations like Green Roots and Myra are instrumental in connecting with our communities and ensuring that their voices are heard all along the process. In closing, I want to emphasize that this project is not about building structures. It's about building resiliency, it's about fostering community, and it is about securing our collective future. Together, let's embark on a journey that brings a safer and more sustainable tomorrow for Chelsea and for Emory. Muchas gracias. Judith Garcia, State Representative for Chelsea and Everett. And I want to start off by saying thank you to our great leader, our champion, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, a woman of impact, a woman who the first person who heard about this project was the Congresswoman, and she committed this important investment. So today is a huge milestone for two cities, for the city of Everett, for the city of Chelsea, for the numerous nonprofits who have been working deliberately behind this project. Our city manager just outlined the timeline, the importance. This is more than structure. This is resilience. These properties, these parks are worth nothing 
if they are underwater. So I want to thank our Congresswoman for listening, for leading with courage and understanding the importance of bringing vital funds to this community, seed funds that can get us started and hopefully get this project continued and finished for the benefit of our community. Para los medios de comunicación eh, latinos que están aquí, es un momento histórico para la, ambas ciudades, para la ciudad de Chelsea, para la ciudad de Everett. Nuestra congresista, Ayanna Presley, es una mujer que ha liderado, que ha escuchado y que ha regresado a esta comunidad con 750 mil dólares en fondos necesarios y vitales para la comunidad de Chelsea y Everett. Estamos emprendiendo no solo una estructura, no solo una pared para eliminar la inundación, sino lo que estamos haciendo es estamos preveniendo la eliminación de empleos, de centros tan importantes como hospitales, un centro de producción de comida que provee comida para muchísimas ciudades, incluyendo estados, incluyendo Canadá. Entonces creo que el impacto de estos fondos va más allá que crear una pared. Es un proyecto de resiliencia y es un proyecto que realmente va a detener los efectos del, de, del cambio climático que existen. Así que le agradecemos muchísimo a nuestra congresista Ayana Presley por liderar y por traer un poco de esos fondos que van a ayudar a complementar pues, este proyecto que va a requerir muchísimo más compromiso. Así que muchísimas gracias. Highlighting how collaborative uh, this process has been, um, I do want to uh, give, since we are in this beautiful city council chamber, uh, President De Jesus an opportunity if she would like to say something. Um, and then we will close out. Uh, Aaron, would you like to say something? Okay. Well, we just want to be fair to Everett because this has been a partnership um, to say a brief word, and then we'll get to the, the real deal while everyone's here for the check. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Eh, so voy a continuar en español con, como mi colega acá. Este, mi nombre es Norieli de Jesús, presidente del de Consejo de Chelsea. Estoy inmensamente agradecida con nuestra congre congreguista. Eh, ella cada vez que visita nuestra bella ciudad trae un cheque. <laughs> Every time you visit a beautiful city, you bring a check. <laughs> y pues um, quería solamente porque nuestro administrador ya dijo unas palabras y explicó qué, qué impacto va a tener este, este, este proyecto. Quería resaltar como mamá eh, el, 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 el orgullo de saber que mis nietos en algún punto van a estar caminando por las calles de Chelsea y lo que ellos van a poder ver. Right? So I, I just wanted to also bring up a point as a mom, right? Like what my grandchildren one day will be seeing when they walk around the city of Chelsea. What, what they'll be able to see, what they'll be able to enjoy. Um, and, and, and that's huge as, as we talk about what we're feeling now through the impacts of environmental justice and, and what our future generations will feel. Yes. Um, and, and lastly, jobs, 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 jobs. We are protecting 11,000 jobs. Did I say 11? Yes. Yes, yes. 11,000 jobs. Estamos protegiendo 11,000 trabajos que nuestras familias todavía están eh, sumamente preocupadas de cómo poder darle comida a sus hijos, sumamente preocupadas de cómo van a poder pagar las rentas. Este es el proyecto que tenemos que lanzar en este momento. Y siempre conectar a todos esos esfuerzos. Always connecting all of those efforts, because we can't work in silos. Our family needs us to address everything uh, cohesively. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Erin Devaney, and I'm here on behalf of Mayor Dee Maria of Everett. The demand for services at the local level and on municipal leaders has only intensified since the COVID-19 pandemic, and that means that while we're focused on meeting the day-to-day -day needs of our residents, we rely upon leadership to help us to focus on these larger infrastructure projects that are critically important to our future. And Mayor Di Maria wants to extend his sincere appreciation to Congresswoman Presley for her understanding and sharing of the collective vision that Everett and Chelsea have had to protect over 5,000 residents 
to protect historical businesses that have invested in our community. And particularly for Everett, will help to protect the existing public infrastructure and the areas that Mayor Di Maria is relying upon for new economic development, revenue growth, and job opportunities. It's truly a pleasure when we can come together at the federal, state, and local level with private organizations and community members to advocate for what matters so dearly to our residents for their future success and also be able to say that when we come together and we work for common good, we are able to accomplish great things. So thank you to everyone for this effort. That's why we needed you. Okay. All right. Well, now we're going to get to the moment everyone's been waiting for. Now, should we have done one check for both cities? Who, who, who gets to have this? Okay. Um, so I'm going to move in the front. Okay. You can all see? Yeah. Okay, everyone come around me. security. That's why I was so proud to work close as advocates, advocacy over these many years. This project will help address the... All right, well, uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you again for being here and celebrating this uh, congressional district, but in particular in Chelsea and Everett. The consequence for this visionary project, um, and now we get to actually celebrate...